In previous video, we showed the source code and the actual operation of outputting to UART device using SPI. Theoretically, the signal from UART is received using SPI. Now let's look at how to make bidirectional communication between SPI and UART devices. SCK and SS of SPI are not used and do not connect. Use the highest priority INT or PCINT available to detect the star bit input to MISO. Communication with the UART using SPI only supports half duplex. The entire source code is introduced later in this video. Any of the SPI clock modes may be used. If MSB first SPI is used, it is transmitted by bitwise reversing the data to be transmitted and writing it to SPI transmit data to register by one bit shift write. If LSB first SPI is used, the data to be transmitted is shifted by one bit and written to the SPI transmit data register. There are two ways to transmit no parity, 7 data bits, and one stop it data using SPI that can transmit 8 bit data. The first is to send the star bit and 7 data bits to the 8 bit SPI data and the stop bit to use the inner character delay. The second is to send the star bit and 7 data bits to the SPI data and the 0xff to the SPI data. In this case, the stop bit is 8 data bits. The SPI UART underscore PUTC function is used to send one character to the UART using SPI. This function supports both MSB first SPI and LSB first SPI. If the character is transmitted to the UART using the MSB first SPI, the SPI UART underscore bitwise or reverse underscore SHR function is called to write the return data to the SPI transmit register. SPI UART underscore bitwise or reverse underscore SHR is a function that performs bitwise reverse and shift write of input data. LSB first when SPI is used to transmit a character to a UART, the input character is shifted left by one bit and written to the SPI transmit register. The reason to shift right or shift left data is to add a star bit. If SPI underscore stop underscore bits equals equals true in the source code, 8 bits of stop bits are output. If SPI underscore stop underscore bits equals equals false, add a delay of 1 bit to keep the MOSI pin idle high. If you use two stop bits, you can change it to underscore delay underscore US UART underscore bit underscore US by 2. Transferring characters from SPI to UART was very simple. However, it is a bit complicated to receive characters sent by the UART to the SPI. As shown in the figure, when the SPI MISO pin is idle and the UART starts transmitting, the signal as shown in the figure is input to SPI MISO. The SPI will use the highest priority INT or PCINT available to detect the star bit. When initializing the peripheral, initialize the INT, PCINT, to detect the star bit with a falling edge trigger. Now, when the star bit is input to MISO, T0, jump to the INT, PCINT, service routine to evacuate the necessary registers to the stack. After the evacuation of the registers, write 0xff to the SPI transmit register at T1. When writing 0xff, the MOSI pin remains high, so the signal input to the MISO pin is sampled as shown in the figure without affecting the receive of the UART device. If the SPI used as MSB first, perform bitwise reverse. Shift write by one bit and copy it to user memory. If nested interrupts are not allowed, if the UART data is input when another interrupt is using the CPU, INT, PCINT, detecting the star bit will not work and data may be lost. This is PCINT interrupt service routine source. The PCINT interrupt service routine is executed when the MISO is idle and the star bit is detected. As shown in the figure, writing 0xff to the SPDR which is the SPI transmit register is to sample the signal input to the MISO pin. 
SPDR equals zero XFF should be performed as soon as possible. Interrupt latency time and time required for register evacuation vary according to compiler and processor, so we will not mention here. PCMSK0 and equals underscore underscore BP PCINT4 is to disable the PCINT that detects the start bit so that no interrupt occurs in the incoming signal after the start bit. Underscore underscore set underscore bits R underscore flag zero underscore underscore BP F zero underscore RX underscore SPI UART detects the star bit and indicates that sampling of the MIS open signal has begun. When the F0 underscore RX underscore SPI UART flag is set, it means that the star bit is detected and sampling started. Wait until all 8 data bits input to MISO have been received. Copy the value of the SPI receive register to the user variable. If you are using MSB first SPI, call SPI UART underscore bitwise or Evers underscore SHR to perform bitwise revert. Enable PCINT4 again. One shift right to discard the star bit and store it in the user variable. The environment for testing bidirectional communication with UART using SPI is shown in the figure. In case of AT Tiny 48, MISO PCINT4 function is assigned to PB4, so PCINT4 will be used for detecting the star bit. If PCINT is optimized, bidirectional communication is possible with 500,000 BPS. Modify the source code introduced in UART for debug purpose and add receive code. Add the interrupt related header file. Define XPI clock divider related settings. Define one bit time as a defined constant to process the stop bit as delay. Defines the F0 underscore RX underscore SPI UART flag for communication with the interrupt service routine. GPIOR0 is a register that the user can use. Add the code for the stop bit output to the SPI UART underscore PUTC function. Add the PCINT interrupt service routine code. The SPI UART underscore GETC function reads the data transmitted from the UART and returns it to MIS. The PCINT underscore init function enables the PCINT4 interrupt. The main function initializes the flag, initializes it by calling PCINT underscore init and SPI UART underscore init, and enables global interrupt. It invokes the SPI UART underscore GETC function by looping through an infinite loop. If there is an input, it prints lowercase in uppercase and uppercase in lowercase. And non-alphabetical input is output without modification. Run PuTTY with 125,000 BPS, no parity, 7 data bits and 1 stop it. Download the compiled binary to the target board. Using the virtual keyboard, data sent to the Atini 48 board is input to the SPI MISO and converted uppercase to lowercase and lowercase to uppercase.
please press the subscription button and also leave your comments. I hope this has helped you.